Whoa. <laughs> that was nearly a very dodgy start. So anyway, I thought I'd just give you guys a quick update to how I'm doing. As you can see, I'm in my new abode. Um, it's a lot smaller than where I was before. And that is the main reason I'm not partaking in the RV. There just is not the space in here to do it. Um, and obviously I'm living with five other people or four because one's just moved out so I've got to be considerate to them uh, although the hobby doesn't do anything to harm anybody but at the moment the way things are I can't partake in it um, and to be honest this is really just a stopgap until my situation improves as I've already explained um, but generally the move was very long um, it took me the best part of the day, I, I was up at 7.30, uh, brother got around about 9.30 and I didn't really finish until 9 o'clock at night, so needless to say I was shattered and uh, I'm still nearly settled in here. Um, so, you know, it's just a matter of getting everything arranged with new GP and letting your creditors know your new address although one of them's being rather long-winded about it because they don't recognize the postcode for some stupid reason on their system but hey there you go so i've had to email them my tenancy agreement as a proof of address so yeah they say technology is supposed to make things easier i think not <laughs> so yeah i think not to be honest with you um maybe it's because i'm old school i don't know but uh things were a lot simpler around about several years ago when i moved into my old place you know it was just a matter of getting yourself registered you know for email or get id etc you know but oh, what a rigmarole that hey um anyway that aside um as i say the move went was a long it was a long day a very long day um thankfully i've got this week after the move off so that i've got time to sort things out get settled in house may seem quite pleasant um those that i've met so far because there's about five of us all here and all together in this hmo um and uh setup seems pretty good um landlord is extremely thorough i will give him that so hats off to you malcolm um so yeah um i must admit the last landlord was quite challenging so mm, enough said on that matter i'm not gonna say any more um but you know, onwards and upwards, as they say. Uh, although I am missing the blooming modelling like mad. I'm itching to get back onto a model, but at the moment, the way things are, I can't. So I'm going to have to find something else to preoccupy on my mind for a bit. Uh, but as I say, I'll give you a quick little look round. Um, as I say, it's only small. Um, that's my wardrobe. There's a little side book cabinet there i've got a little bit of doctor who memorabilia from the collection a few bits and bobs uh tv and there's my dvd library which you can see there well i've had to reduce that drastically to be honest with you because a lot of my classic doctor who um dvds i had to sell off so in order for me to get the space here uh so i have decluttered majorly to be honest with you um it's just a shame i can't really use that as a workbench and unfortunately there's no shelf space here so you know it's the way it is um but as i say this will tide me over for a little bit I'll put the camera back down uh, there we go and i'm sitting on my bed at the moment so there you go um but i mean it's cozy you know as I say, the premises is pretty well run. Um, not much more I can say on that, really. But, uh, yeah, I'm still following you guys' videos out there. Uh, and uh, I, Frankie's, well, Frank, 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 yeah, he's been in touch with me because, obviously, he's not long had to move as well into his, tra his trailer. 
and uh, Frankie, I'll tell you, since you've moved, you are bombing them out with those builds. Uh, you're like a walking factory of model building. You really are, bud. And uh, I have to say, Sunderland looks really good. And uh, I do actually remember building that kit many, many years ago before I was even involved in YouTube, uh, when I was first involved in Harvey. Um, yeah, uh, and that was when I was living with my father. And that's quite a few years ago now. And obviously when I moved I had to give it up, so there you go. And history has repeated itself again. But knowing history, it will repeat itself again. And then when my situation's improved and I've got a bigger place, maybe a place of my own, then I'll be able to get back into it and then get back on and build and show you my builds. So uh, I've already got my stash. What's left of it stored away at um, a friend's um, who kindly offered to put some of my remaining stash and all my modelling's library into storage for me. And I thank you, Stuart, for that. That's most appreciated, and I haven't forgotten it. So uh, I'll be in touch. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just a case of getting uh, adjusting to a new routine and adjusting to a slightly different way of life at the moment. Um, it's all a little bit unnerving on settling, but I'll probably get there. I have to say, though, since I moved, my stress levels have gone down significantly because uh, um, everything is close at hand with the town because I'm now living in a town called Bracknell, uh, which is about four miles from where I was living previously in Ascot. It's a little bit more built up around here. Um, and uh, I must admit, we are living and you do feel a little bit looked in on because I'm surrounded by housing estates, you know, uh, unlike where I was before, you know. But, you know, we can't beggars, can't be choosers. And at the end of the day, this is a secure roof over my head. So, you know, and I'm surprised I managed to get it so quickly, actually, because I mean, it was only this was only the second property I viewed. So, uh, there you go. Things happen for a reason, as they say. Um, but yeah, I am following everybody's builds and what is of interest to me at the moment, I think is the Russian Frontier Group build, which I think is the Warts and All Group. I may have got that wrong, Mike. Sorry, it's being hosted by Mike Cohen. Uh, so I apologise if I got that wrong, bud. Uh, but, um, I mean, if I was, to, if I was still modelling, I would definitely be having my entry into it. I mean, the wealth of material and subject matter that's involved in that area of the war is phenomenal um so particularly your builds that you're doing with the two initial tigers i know one of them i've built was a lovely kit 6600 um that's the one with the russian uh winter scheme um that i saw you preview and then the other one 6252 which i understand is both original releases so you're lucky to have those both because they are a bomb now but lovely subjects um so i look at your build with any interest on that one and uh obviously len scarbett he's still get trooping away with his russian uh aviation theme uh which i'm yet to watch because uh, he's done a 44 minute video on his latest which is a cam of i think uh so yeah I might have got that wrong i don't know uh but yeah um still got a great enthusiasm for it and i'm following it although i'm not taking part in it unfortunately at the moment but hey um it's something that i'm aiming for and it's something i'm looking forward to as when i get back into the hobby so there you go anyway i think i've waffled on for about nearly 10 minutes now so i'm going to finish it at that um but as I say, this is just a stopgap for a while. I don't know when I'm going to be back on regularly yet. Um, it's too early to say, because obviously we don't know the situation with the pandemic going on at the moment. And this is one of the reasons that I've had to move here is because of that. Um, and 
well, it's affecting all of us at the moment, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully things will settle down in time and then the old normal will get back. Uh, but it's not looking particularly clever at the moment with a second wave possibly coming in. Um, something that's just come up about it as well. But uh, anyway, I will... Uh, have a look at that presently anyway look after yourselves stay healthy keep those builds up um i know one of your fellow modelers young ryan luscombe has been in touch with me and he's getting himself heavily involved with a, a phantom restoration apparently so interesting things very interesting things i think you've got a future budding engineer looking at him in that so yeah and i'm on about the real mccoy not a model yeah, he's got involved with the preservation group, so that they are trying to renovate an old F4J Phantom, formerly of 74 Squadron. So, yeah, interesting stuff, interesting stuff. And uh, I have to say, his two World War One builds, I think it was an RE8 and a sock with Pup, or was it Camel, look awesome, bud. So keep up the good work. And, uh, yeah... Anyway, I'm going to finish it here for the time being. Um, I'm still posting stuff up on my Facebook page that's of interest. Regretfully, not my own work at the moment. But in time, as and when the occasion arises and my situation is improved and hopefully this pandemic has passed, um, I'll be back in the fray. No doubt about that. And I'm aiming to be back in the fray. So we will see. Anyway. Take care, get kick crazy, happy modelling. Um, I'm still following Phil Flory's builds as well. And uh, regretfully, Telford's not happening this year, which, to be honest with you, I wasn't surprised about. I don't know how they could have gone ahead with the show anyway, because it, it amasses so many people. And uh, to be honest, if... A lot of a lot of societies and vendors were bailing out because they didn't think it was going to be profitable enough for them this year. And obviously with the safety restrictions, it's just not practically viable. So I wasn't surprised that it didn't go ahead. But they will be doing a virtual one apparently over the dates that the show would have been held. So look out for that on YouTube. Anyway, as I say, I'm getting on for nearly 13 minutes, so I'm going to finish here. So until then, get kick crazy, happy modelling, take care of yourselves, and um, I'll, I'll, I'll be following you with great, great interest. Take care. Cheers.